Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last time we did a bunch of Chocobo stuff and also morphed a monster underwater, which I realized afterwards that I forgot to actually do stuff with that. Just don't worry about it, we'll get to it in a minute. Uh, first though, first though, between episodes, what I also did was grind it up Yuffie's penultimate limit. Don't know what this one does either. It just says continuously attacks opponent. So you know, go figure. This is basically just an explosion. It's a pretty good explosion, but nothing to write home about. But it doesn't matter either because it's time for all creation achievement get. So uh, let's. Uh, yeah, let's uh, throw that one on there. Attacks all opponents. Really, really informative there. Um, I just need to make sure I have, uh, I actually do not. Okay. Good thing I checked. Mm. Hmm. Not using W item right now. I need a chocobo lure. Because we still need to catch one more chocobo in order to breed the ultimate chocobo. And it occurred to me that this is probably easy to do if I do not if I'm not walking around with a chocobo. Also helps if I'm actually on the chocobo traps. By the way, time for some overkill. Uh, yeah. That hit, like, five or six times, I want to say. Each time did probably run double the damage of a regular attack. So, it definitely broke the damage limit, that's for sure. Let's say it hit five times, that would have been, been 150,000 damage. That's, that's a lot. Uh, which... Oh. I forgot to buy greens. Do I have greens for this? Or am I going to need to come back later? Uh, I have gastro greens! Yes! Success! Okay. Not gonna have to come. Not gonna have to leave and come back again. That's good. That is really good. That would have really sucked. Uh, let's see. The chocobo we are after will typically. Well, this is not a chocobo fight. Man, that's a level two chocobo thing as well. So my ratio should be pretty good. Like, I should have a 50% chance, I want to say, of each battle ha being with a chocobo. Maybe a little bit less, because I know that you're more likely to fight chocobos around the chocobo ranch than in other areas. But even so, my odds should be... Oh, there we go. Pretty good, is what I was going to say. Uh, and this is a chocobo we want. We want a chocobo that is accompanied by one or two white rabbits. Or jumping, if you want to use their actual name. Kill the rabbit! And this is actually the best kind of chocobo you can catch. I think. However, not the best for breeding the blue or green chocobos, which is why we didn't just catch it earlier. Uh, send it to the stables! Ah, I'm sure it'll get there. But yeah, that should be a wonderful... Did I just see... Okay, are you still flying around? Or, or can I fight you now? Because I would totally like to battle you. Uh... That near collision suggests to me that I cannot. Okay, seriously, dude, dude. It would be good to just demonstrate that anyway. 
Um. No, still flying around, I see. Man, you're gonna be such a pain in the ass. I just know it. <laughs> well, anyway. We're going to Kelm. Why are, Why the hell are we going to Kelm? It, it, it's the thing we got. Uh, no, no, you're not the one I want to talk to. You, maybe. Oh, you're going on a journey to pray for their souls. A map that was sunk along with the ship. Guidebook. A rose that blooms once every 1,000 years. Desert rose. A harp that soothes those who hear it. Earth harp. Hmm. Well, as it turns out, I happen to have the guidebook. Yeah, we'll do that trade. Just take your time, I suppose. The underwater materia! No, I didn't I didn't want to talk to him. Uh no, I don't pick up the damn materia cloud. We did it! Yay! Okay, so... This materia... Uh, where the hell is it? Uh, underwater breathing. Yeah, that's helpful. Uh, no, it really isn't. Uh, this materia is, can, or is, or rather can be used when battling a sapphire weapon. Normally, when you battle that particular weapon, there's a 20-minute time limit, after which you lose. However, if you equip that materia, that time limit is gone! Which is not as useful as it sounds, because... Sapphire Weapon has an attack that deals damage based on the number of materia equipped. It's like a thousand per materia, so that one extra materia actually makes a pretty damn big difference. Um... Quite frankly, if you need to use the underwater materia to beat Sapphire Weapon, you probably cannot beat Sapphire Weapon. Um, having said that, the other two items that that, that, that guy wanted are prizes for beating uh, Sapphire and Ruby Weapon, which are the two super bosses of the game. Perhaps needless to say, we are... Okay, this was definitely not so hilly before. I guess a lot of places in the world have done this. Because I noticed around um, Juan, there's that big crater that this asshole was hovering over. Um, one moment. This crater here, this was not here before. Or at least it wasn't so big before. And it's easy to demonstrate that it wasn't before, because if you go from Port Condor to Juwan, there's no longer an overland route, because you need to go across here. And there's other places like that around the world map as well. It's just, it's just a really interesting little detail, I think. But a lot, of, a lot of them are in places where they don't necessarily stand out to you, like this. Definitely wasn't here before, but I definitely didn't notice it. Uh, in any case, um, Chocobo Ranch. Go. Let's see. I want to save first, just in case something goes horribly wrong. And then, time to breed our Chocobos. Hmm. Come to think of it, I'm going to need to fight a few times before I can even breed the Black Chocobo. Hmm. Uh, rather, before I can breed it with the Chocobo I just caught. Um... Right, so... This is a good time to release... These two. Because, well, I'm going to need their stalls. Release! Or at least I'm going to need one of their stalls, so I really may as well release both of them. Particularly since I just caught a better 
one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, come to think of it, I need to make sure my black chocobo has a gender that matches the chocobo I just caught. Yep, wonderful chocobo. Put it in. Male. Okay. You can be Choco. Just Choco. Yeah. Sure. I guess. I never really did think of any good names for these guys. Hmm. And now I'm gonna go save a game <laughs> because I have a 50% chance of the black of my bl new black Chocobo having the wrong gender. Uh, and that would kind of suck. It would be a premature end for this video, that's for sure. Uh, let's really hope that doesn't happen. Cause I wait, did I just save a new slot? I mean, it doesn't. I did. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, I, please be a female. This one, and this one! Please be a female. Uh, what nut do I want to use? I want to use a carbo nut. Carob nut, whatever. Same difference. Please be a female! <laughs> Okay. Well, I feel like this is too short otherwise. But I was gonna just cut off a lot of the chocobo stuff anyway. Mm. How am I gonna do this? Okay, well obviously I need a female chocobo. Uh, so... I think I'll just take this as an opportunity to explain the racing process for this. Um, I need to combine wins between this guy, or soon to be girl, <coughs> and that gold chocobo I caught. Or, go not, sorry, that wonderful chocobo I caught. I need to combine 12 wins between them. So the best way to do it is to just do 6 of each. Uh,. So, naturally, I'm going to be giving ten, gre or ten greens to each of them. Uh, I'm also going to need ten battles between... Uh, so that I can actually breed with this one in the first place. So... yeah. This is kind of rough. I guess, join me next time! No, I said I would finish the damn Chocobo stuff, though. Ah! Uh, okay. Join me next time when we actually finish it for real. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Until then, have a good day.